about to head out on my journey, which is a train ride from Poznan, Poland, to Kalis, and then take a bus to Turek, and then take a shuttle to Dama Palava, which is the location where they have Vipassana meditation retreats in Poland. And I am going to do a 10 day silent Vipassana meditation retreat, which is starting tomorrow. We arrive today, but the actual process starts tomorrow. And it goes for seven, um, until the 17th, it goes 10 days plus the day after we leave. So that's from June 6th through 17th in total, 2018. This will be my third Vipassana meditation retreat. And <clears throat> the first two I did in Thailand at Swan Mok. And that was around 2006, 2007. And I've been um, on quite a journey the last 10 years since those retreats. And I know that it's time for another one. And I am very much looking forward to sitting and to watching and to gaining insight into this world, into my own being, into my life, my relationships, my family, children, <laughs> my purpose, and maybe even letting go of some ego because this ego thing, this self stuff is taking up a little bit too much of of my existence right now. And I know it will be, and I trust it will be a beneficial experience and um, definitely a challenge in letting go and to let the teachers advise and guide me, guide the whole group, and um, to follow <clears throat> their guidance and their lead to attain something and to follow this system called Vipassana. Um, Vipassana is called insight meditation. It's also um, called seeing things as they really are. And I know that we as people in society, in this world, we are often clouded in our sight and in our judgment, and there's a lot of ego at play. There's a lot of other distractions, and ultimately we would benefit, hypothetically speaking, from letting um, some of that fall by the wayside and to just see things as they really are. I'm doing this video because I am inspired by other videos, seeing uh, what people are saying about Vipassana and seeing what they're doing and how they are before and after. Um, it's very possible that I go into this feeling one way, come out of it feeling another way. It's very possible nothing changes. I'm hopeful for change, but as I experienced with my first Vipassana meditation retreat, I was extremely open and I really reaped the benefits of that practice. And then approximately six months later, I did my second retreat and I was filled with expectations um, about 
how the retreat should be for me and what I could experience. And that really made my second experience extremely difficult, extremely challenging. And there was this nun, nun Ari. Um, after the third day, you're able to speak with a nun or a monk for maybe 15 minutes. And I made an appointment and I saw her and it's a silent retreat, but you're allowed to speak for these meetings after the third day. At least how they, that's how they do it at Swan Mok in Thailand. And talking to her, it really helped me to see that I was having a lot of expectations based on my prior experience. And I was able to release more. But I also was distracted. On my second retreat, I, I brought a book and I was reading my book when I shouldn't have been. I was reading my book in my room and they, at these meditation retreats, they say no devices, no writing materials, no books, no music, no distractions, nothing is allowed. Um, and this time I will do that. I've made that promise to myself and I will turn in my devices and um, my books and writing materials, etc., so that I don't have that um, temptation. So at this point in my life, I'm going through a separation from my husband, and that's extremely difficult, but I know that stepping away and stepping into the vipassana will help me see the bigger picture and maybe understand on a more cellular level the significance of this of this separation of this breakup um, looking at my own life in a different light and maybe feeling less attachment to the things that are happening um, and getting some level of acceptance that I don't have right now, letting go or just seeing my anger and sadness and watching, watching that, observing that and not attaching and acting on it. So I do have expectations going into this, um, but I'm excited about the letting go piece and to following the, the people who are experts at this and listening to the masters um, because we all have something to learn and although I'm a teacher myself, I have a lot to learn and in this regard I am looking to to the teachers, to the masters, to the teachings, to have some uh, guidance and to to let myself to let myself go, to let myself be guided. So I embark on this journey, and it's a beautiful day. It's sunny. It's amazing. I had coffee this morning. I smoked a cigarette. I'm not usually smoking, but the last few weeks I've been smoking and I drink my caffeine every day and I have all these little addictions, but during the retreat there's no no smoking, there's no drugs, there's no caffeine. Um, the meals are twice a day and they're, it's the morning meal and noon meal. And in the afternoon they have a tea and so my plan is to um, experience that level of hunger and sort of fasting and um, in some ways, you know, cleaning out and leaving space for the mind stuff. And so it's fine that I had a cup of coffee and that I'm not going to drink coffee for some days and who knows what happens afterwards. And uh, 
yeah, it's been it's been a journey just to get here from Berlin, and now I've been in Poznan um, for two days, and it was a three-hour train ride to come from home in Berlin, and uh, I'll be on the road for another few hours today, and get to this rural location and start my journey there. So that's the end of what I wanted to say. Bye bye.